So I recently got a new toy and she goes by the name of Zex. I am introducing her as a new add-on to my channel. She is going to bring 100 shots of pure American horsepower. And I think you guys are going to like that. I hope you guys are excited as I am. Let's get started. <laughs> Finally, I bring to you guys a video that I've been wanting to do for so many months. I installed the Zex wet nitrous system to my Mustang. Ever since I made that first video of purchasing my nitrous, which will pop up in the right, right corner right here. Check that out. It was about four months ago, but there have been so many mishaps like uh, missing parts, back orders, and down here in San Diego, uh, there was actually uh, a rare supply of nitrous. I'm sorry guys, I really wish I would have gotten this earlier a long time ago, but I can't really uh, control any of those factors that uh, stopped me from making this video. So, But finally, we are here today making this video. I installed my system. In this video, I am gonna show you my full setup. I'm gonna walk you through the back, underneath the car as much as I can, inside the car and inside the engine. And then I'm gonna tell you all the information you need to know about nitrous, as well as my background story of my full experience with my nitrous system. And then after that, I'm gonna do my first ever test run with the nitrous. I have not run it yet. I wanna run it with you guys. So let's get started with this video. But before I get started, I have to pay my respect where all the respect is due. And that goes to one of my subscribers named Darren. When I made that video of purchasing my nitrous, he hit me up and he said that he would walk me through the full process of installing nitrous. This guy is a wizard in nitrous, I promise you guys. He also has an 05 to 09 S197 rocking the Zex nitrous system and he walked me step by step and I loved it so much. He saved me a thousand dollars of installation costs and I could not be more appreciative. Thank you, Darren, once again. Every single video I make from here on out about nitrous, I will be shouting your name. I know that you guys are gonna wanna stay tuned for all of my nitrous videos to come as well. So subscribe right now down below to my channel and uh, stay tuned for all of the great content I have for you guys. Now let's go to the back and see where my setup all starts from. So here is where I planted the bottle. You can see I have completed the setup but I have not yet finalized it. It is still very messy. You will see when we get into the interior but I am only doing this just because I have not tested it and I don't wanna put everything away officially if I know that it's not working. But once when I do know that it's working, I will completely seal this up. I'll put the carpet right underneath there. I'll make it look really nice. The blow down kit, I need to make a hole down so that the nitrous will spit underneath the car. Um, and talking about safety, I know you guys think that nitrous is dangerous, but Zex is known to be one of the most safest nitrous systems out there. And plus I have so many more upgrades to make it safe like this safety blow down kit. You'll see in the interior, I have the window switch. And then this also comes with the wide open throttle switch as well. So I have the most secure and a lot of factors have to go wrong in order for this system to go wrong. So this is the safest that you could ever go with nitrous. Safety blow down kit, the wide open throttle Zex kit, as well as the window switch. You can also see that I have the bottle heater right here for maximum uh, pressure for the bottle. Um, heating it up really does uh, allow the nitrous to perform a lot better. I did wire it into the car. You could see the nitrous line going right underneath the car through that little water hole right there. So that is basically everything inside of the trunk. And so the nitrous line goes all underneath the car following the rear wheels right here all the way into the passenger side where I then drew a hole at the bottom. You can't see it's underneath this, but it's about like right here, three inches to the left. That's where I put the hole to wire all my system. And then you could see all of the wires coming through to my window switch. Then you could see very messy. I am gonna clean this up guys, don't you worry. And the window switch I put here, number one, cause the MSD window switch looks butt ugly. It's huge, it's bulky and it just not flows well with me. I put it right here so I don't have to stare at it, but I may relocate this in the engine bay um, for future if I do not like it here. Um, this is only for temporary, temporary, so um, once when I find out that it works, we're gonna rock it and I will do more videos to show you my finalized project. Yeah, so we have the window switch right here. We have the activation switch right here and then the purge button right here. And if you guys could see right here, I screwed up. I drew a hole that was not necessary. I may put the bottle heater switch right here in future. I'm not sure, or I might just get another new one of these um, from the junkyard. But yeah, we got the activation switch, the purge button, and then inside of the center console with all of my junk, we have the 
bottle heater switch, which runs to the back. So that is the full setup. Let's go ahead and uh, turn on the engine and see what the window switch displays. All right, so I just turned on the car and now I am going to turn on the activation switch. Ho oh, bang. All right, so we see on 30, that's 3000 RPM. Off 60, that's 6000 RPM. Cylinder one, that is the cylinder I need to be at. And then the eight is the um, RPM that my engine is currently uh, running at. So 800 RPM, 700 RPM, 800 again. So depending on how many RPMs I have will depend on when the nitrous will activate. So as you've seen before, we had the 3000 RPM. So once when I reach 3000 RPM, it will activate. And then once when I reach 6000 RPM, it will deactivate. And anytime I leave off of the throttle, it will deactivate as well. So that is basically how the window switch works. It is the most safest thing. This will control the full system. Now let's go to the engine bay and see what's underneath the hood. So this is what it looks like underneath the hood. You can see we have the main solenoid from Zex right here all the connections we have the nitrous line running in through here we have the uh, outlet purge line running through here we have the fuel line right here which connects to the fuel adapter uh, right there sorry guys and uh, yeah so that is the line and then from there we have the out the fuel out and the nitrous out which lead to the nozzle which currently has the 100 jets so that is the full setup we have the dual outlet purge kit right here. The dual outlet purge kit is not completed because um, I don't know, Zex didn't really think about this, but they gave me one foot of line and to purge outside the car, I'm gonna need a lot more than that. I'm gonna need like at least two feet. I'm currently uh, looking out for this uh, brake line, the bendable ones in order to do it. So um, I'm not gonna purge today, guys. It will be another video when I finally set up the purge kit, but I just did not wanna wait to show you guys the nitrous. So basically what the dual outlet purge kit does is just bring in fresh nitrous. It's not a necessity. It's more for those racing guys in the drag strip, um, but for street use, uh, the dual outlet purge kit is not a necessity um, but that's just to have it but I am gonna set it and then again you could see the wiring in the back which is not finalized I am gonna clean it up once when I figure out that it's working but yeah that's basically everything in the engine um, just to give you guys a better walk through everything looks good the correct jets are in I'm just ready to ignite it and um, just to show you guys where exactly the wires are going through I don't know if you could see that but it goes all the way down there and uh yeah and lastly you guys cannot see but i installed the zero degree forward performance spark plugs which is a necessity for running nitrous so zax is kind of confusing when it comes to the numbers usually 100 shots means an increase of 100 rear wheel horsepower zax does it a little differently their numbers are towards the crank so for example, 100 shots of Zex is really 75 horsepower to the wheels. I don't know why they did that, that's just how it is. But I am totally fine with that because this is my first test run and I don't want things to go out of control. So in the future, I will upgrade to 125 shots for Zex so I could have 100 horsepower to the wheels, if that makes sense. I hope that I clarified that. So my car is currently rocking 340 horsepower to the crank and that includes the JLT Series 3 cold air intake, the SR Performance underdrive pulleys, the Bama 91 octane race tune, a full off-road straight through exhaust as well as the 410 gears. With the installation of nitrous I will be rocking 440 horsepower to the crank which I am super stoked about and I cannot wait to try it out. I am going to dyno my car in the near future to show you guys exactly the numbers I am making because those are just estimates. To run with any nitrous system, you will need a tune. I picked up the Bama 100 shot 91 octane race V2 tune, which I've been running for a couple days just to break it in. And so far it is very, very smooth. I promise you guys tuning video to come very shortly. I know you have been requesting that. But yeah, I have the tune running so far and uh, we're gonna see how it goes from here on out. Now let's talk about the installation. For me personally, it took me about 12 to 15 hours. I'm not entirely sure I was not keeping track anywhere between the 12 and 15 hour mark. It was super easy to install, but super tedious, especially wiring the system. I went one by one wiring underneath the car, around the car, on top of the car, all over the place with the wiring. That's probably the thing that took the most 
Um, the hardware itself took mm, four to six hours. That includes the bottle, um, the line, the solenoid, the purge kit, the switches, and the window switch. And then the wiring took about six to eight hours out of my time. So it took me about two days, a weekend's worth. But in reality, if you really know what you're doing and you have instructions for everything, you could definitely get it done in one day. Throughout the full course of the installation, I learned so much about nitrous and how to set it up and everything. If this video gets 500 likes, I will make an installation video for you guys for my full setup. Even though I have everything already installed, I will still be able to walk you guys through every single step. All right guys, I told you all of the information and showed you my full setup. Now let's get in Sally and see how this nitrous performs. I cannot wait. All right, time to test it out for our first time. I am gonna test it all into third gear. I'll be rolling right under 3000 RPM and then I'm gonna punch it all the way from 3000 RPM to 6000 RPM. The first run is gonna be without the nitrous, just so you guys could see exactly how she performs. Uh, so just really pay close attention to see the engine and the speed and all that if you can. And then I am going to turn on the nitrous and do the same thing, 3000 RPM to 6000 RPM. And uh, hopefully you guys could see the difference. I'm pretty excited about this, let's get started. All right, now we are cruising at 2900 RPM with no nitrous. Let's see how it goes without the nitrous. That's what I'm expecting. Now let's try out the nitrous. All right, now we are cruising around the same RPM. This is with nitrous. Oh. <laughs> wow. I felt that. I don't know if you guys could tell, but it just like sent me back and you could hear the engine change note. Wow, okay. I can get used to this for sure. All right, so now we are gonna punch it one more time and uh, just listen to this. Oh my, oh my, wow. I am, sh oh, okay, hold on now. Guys, this is gonna be dangerous for my channel. You guys are gonna wanna stay tuned for the rest of my nitrous videos. All right guys, so that is the end of testing. I still wanna make sure that everything is A-OK, -okay, so I will take it to the dyno to check my air to fuel ratio. But the nitrous was a success of what I've experienced so far. So I hope you liked this video. Smash that like button if you did. Comment down below if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome, cool videos. And share this video to as many people as you can. And as always, have yourself a wonderful day.